Say we're given an equation like this, and we have to start doing the math. Where do we start? Do we just work left to right, or do we start with what looks easier? There's actually an agreed upon set of rules for what order you're supposed to do the math, and that's what we call the order of operations. The reason this exists is so that anyone can look at the same math written down or typed into a computer, and they'll all get the same answer. So first, you would do the math that's inside a set of parentheses. Second, you calculate any numbers with exponents. Third and fourth, you do any multiplication or division. And then fifth and sixth, you do all the addition and subtraction. We have these little brackets here because you can actually do multiplication and division at the same time, and you can do addition and subtraction at the same time. But multiplication and division have to come before addition and subtraction. And to memorize this order of operations, we usually use the word PEMDAS, which is the first letter of each operation. So let's work through an example of how to use the order of operations. First, we do any math inside a set of parentheses. A key thing here is that the stuff inside parentheses also follows the order of operations itself. In our case, everything in parentheses is addition and subtraction, so we can do all of that in one step. 2 minus 1 becomes 1. 1 plus 3 becomes 4. 5 minus 2 becomes 3. And 8 minus 5 becomes 3. Next up is any number with an exponent. Here, now we have 3 squared, 3 with an exponent of 2. So we calculate 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, and we get 9. Next, we do multiplication. Remember that numbers in parentheses next to each other means multiplication. So here we have 1 times 4, which becomes 4. Next, we can do any division. Here we have 4 divided by 2, which becomes 2, and 9 divided by 3, which becomes 3. And now all we have left to do is addition and subtraction, which we can do together. So 2 plus 3 minus 1 becomes 4, and there we go. We took that big bunch of math up there and simplified it down to get 4. And anyone else who sees that same bunch of math and simplifies it down will get the exact same answer, as long as they use the order of operations.